Our high horsepower four-wheel drive Barbie Dream Camper is almost finished. But before we tear it apart for final paint and finish, we have a couple more weeks of work ahead of us. One of the final touches we need is to paint the body because it's got all this filler on it and make some sick fender flares. And Ryan might be overqualified for this. <laughs> Yeah, I, you know, so. nothing's beneath me. Meet Ryan from Crucible Coachworks. He makes custom wide body Porsches for a living with Tony. So this is how the legitimate professionals do it too. I mean, I prefer tape actually and like using wireframes, but that's a lot of extra steps for this. So we're not going to do that. We got our cardboard template here. It's very roughed in. This is the make do with what you have edition of metal shaping. Yeah, yeah I think what you mean is it's the grind hard edition of the metal grind shaping. hard edition, exactly. <laughs> I too would like to build a half pipe. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's just a half pipe. It's for our tech decks. So this glove was sand because what we don't have is a shot bag. It's a little unnerving. This is the English wheel. The way it works is it has an upper and lower anvil. The upper one's flat. The lower one allows you to put different dies in a different radii. You put your panel in here. Right now it's no pressure. You put your panel in, add a bunch of pressure, and then you just wheel it back and forth and then it'll actually smush the metal and cause it to stretch. You see right here, we got these dents. If I just kind of zoop them here a couple times. Dang, it's moving so fast. Yep, the more pressure, the faster it'll move. It's just another way to stretch. A lot of metal shaping is stretching and shrinking, and more stretching in this case, because there's not a lot of shrinking uh, tooling available. Why'd you cut it in half? Well, because, <laughs> like I mentioned earlier, we don't have all the tooling we have in our shop. I overestimated my shrinking capabilities. Um, I figured it'd be easier just to lop off this and put this piece up here, make a fresh pattern off this edge that's flatter, and then add shape to it. All I'm doing right now is getting it roughed in and tacked together, and then uh, the front edge here, then I'm gonna make the back edge, and tack it together, and then I'm gonna run through and kind of planish it out and weld it, and then see how it comes together. I have my hood up on, right now underneath the welding hood because oh, this nice. head is like, the an entire globe larger than mine. I don't know. He has his own ecosystem up there. I do. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm I'm converting the electronic four-wheel drive switch to manual so that we can go do some burnouts when we're done. Ooh. But this was inspired by how it looks as a slam boy car, so we gotta go do some burnout. <laughs> making a little knob that's gonna go on the end of this. This is the actual actuator for the diff minus all the electronics and some of the aluminum. So basically it needs to spin this <coughs> eccentric thingy around to move a slider back and forth. So once you finish that, you'll be able to manually select four wheel drive or not. Precisely. New hot chip challenge. <laughs> it's not perfect yet, but I'd say it's relatively satisfying. When I butted up that flange against that flange there, bam. Nice. Yeah. so good down. <laughs> it looks better. We could have the shocks super soft 
and also low, which is something you can't really do with a regular sprung shock. You know how we've been uh, hinting at something really big that's happening that's a secret? No way! And that's why I haven't been in the last couple videos very much. That big thing is happening right now over on eBay Motors YouTube channel. It's called the Modathon. Weston Champlin put a massive diesel engine into a 79 Ford Bronco. <laughs> this is for America. We're gonna come through the heater vents. And then we got a hold of it and had to put all the suspension, wheels, tires, axles to make it hold up to that power and do off-roady things. I can't tell you any more details, but I can show you the trailer. And the answer is, no, that's not going to work. Ow. This is the Modathon. We have decided that in the back of these fenders here, right here, we're gonna cut out a window that'll let all the smoke out when you're doing uh, Burnouts, not the magic smoke. We don't want that to escape. We're gonna cut out a window here and of course put hexagons behind it. So I have a file for a roughly sized chunk of hexagons and uh, we'll see if it cuts out. That's not right. What are you doing? Uh, excuse me, sir. The Wendy. It just added a radius for no reason. Nice. Mm, looks like I was trying to make a map of a weird state or something on the outside here. Look at all them hexagons. And that'll go like something like that. And then we'll just cut out the little bits behind it so you can see straight through. And it'll be a multi-dimensional Barbie hexagon mesh rear fender window. Behold! I like it. That looks really cool. Yeah. It's, they're, they're the same thing. <laughs> Corporate wants you to find the differences between these two pictures. Yeah. I cut out this extra Barbie logo for, you know, this side. And then I changed my mind and I want to put this one on there. So it's asymmetrical and cool and I already had this cut out. All right, Will, drop well, and give me 20. Take care of that. Oh, right now. This is the warmest of all of us. Will yeah, lost a bet involving a you, dating app. You better the watch house. out. Oh, 17. One, 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 one. <laughs> I'm not actually working on the uh, dream camper. Only 220 left. On one side, look at that. Look at that nice gap there. Yeah. This is not, I, I, I'm realizing that this has been like a community marker yeah. that people have also probably chewed on. I'm regretting my decisions. It's called a frat. 
house mocha. You put mostly hot chocolate, make sure it's all stirred up, then you shake your Red Bull and you just add just a little touch. I like to do it when I'm uh, pulling these late nights at Grind Hard. Sadly, Ryan and Tony had to fly home today. Last night, we got these pieces all finished up. I got the other side welded on. Now I'm gonna tack this one on, and then we're gonna take it outside and see how it looks out in the, out in the wild. We only had two days to do this whole thing because uh, Ryan and Tony were here for a couple of weeks, but most of that time was spent working on a top secret project that can't be talked about because that's what top secret means. She's about ready for a rebuild, huh? Uh, yeah, but I mean, a new battery and, a, and an engine rebuild would do the trick. Let alone a big board kit. That's the plan. I mean, obviously, why would you rebuild this into stock? Then you can make it more. <laughs> Time to do some rear wheel drive donuts and then put it in four wheel drive and see if we can uh, get some cyclones going with it this low. This is a two day wide body build, so it's not finished yet. And if you enjoyed the body work, go check out Ryan's channel, Crucible Coachworks. He does some really cool stuff that's way more high end than this. So, right now, we're giving away our Subaru BRZ rally build or $10,000. Every $5 spent on our merch gets you an entry. Including these fresh new hoodies you guys have been rocking. I bet. It does the cyclones though, we just had too much traction. Too much traction and too much tall. If you want to see how this thing all started, just click right here. <laughs>